Let's make this fast. Ladies and gentlemen, Squack Like it is. Welcome to a new episode of What's Crack Like and in the Tour World. The other like <laughs> Anyways, bitches, what's going on? Came back from uh, from uh, California. California trip was awesome. Um, came back to like a thousand one hundred and six email messages. Woo! Still reading those. Um, and um, what else? What else? Went to sideshow. It was fantastic. Um, my girlfriend Tiffany got to meet everybody at sideshow. It was really cool. And um, and um, saw a lot of awesome stuff that has not been revealed yet. Saw a lot of awesome stuff that has been previewed. And um, just pure awesomeness, pure awesomeness. Got to see the uh, Mark Four, Mark Six, sorry, maquette in person. And um, I have to say, holy crap, it is pretty sick. So uh, pretty awesome and um, just nasty. Anyways, but uh, yeah, went did that and um, had an awesome birthday at uh, California with a few freaks and a few 3A legionnaires. And um, it was awesome. It was an awesome experience. Yes. Anyways, bitches, I'm back, I'm here, and I'm gonna do some videos. <laughs> so, uh, let's start with Sideshow, like always, of course. Um, they uh, pre-ordered their Lada Croft comic at yesterday, actually, because today's Friday. Or is it today Friday? Wow, it's Friday. Anyways, um, really Friday? <laughs> Damn. Lada Croft comic at. She looks freaking beautiful. Um, I am so... It's just pump. I guess pumped, but it's not really pumped. It's just I'm. Her face looks fantastic. I, it's just one of the best faces that I've seen sculpted, especially on a lot of Croft's uh, figure. Because if you know, remember the uh, premium format, the face was okay. The uh, the the one six scale figures, it was okay. But this this sculpt is it's just freaking badass. I love it. I love it. for some reason. I'm in awe of the face. Not sure. You know, I don't know. But, I mean, you should know by now that Tim Miller is the shit sculpting women. There is no other man in this universe that can sculpt women better than Tim Miller that I know of. Mm -mm. So, I wouldn't expect any less, but, wow. I mean, he did an awesome job with this freaking comic head. I love it, I love it, I love it. It is based on Adam Hughes' work, just in case you didn't know. Um, the exclusives will be a print. And, uh, and, um... Yeah, amazing. That's just an amazing sculpt. I am so in awe of this sculpt for some reason. I, it's, just, it's just that face. It's just a beautiful face. I love it. I love it. I'm in love with that face. And uh, But anyways, the entire sculpt is awesome. She's sitting down on, on that big case thing. And, you know, she got so crap all over the place. Snow. Anthony Mestas did an awesome job painting the, uh, the, the prototype. It looks insanely awesome. I hope the productions... The product, yeah, the production ones are just like that. Because uh, the paint-ups are amazing in this statue, and um, they look great. So uh, I'm really happy with it. I did not get to see it in person. I would have cried, but man, it looks amazing. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. So uh, that's enough for Lara Croft. Um, another thing I saw in person was the uh, Silver Surfer maquette. Holy crap. Oh, Comiquette, sorry. And uh, that thing is huge. I mean... You know he's on that base thing and plus the it, it, it was it, I'm like wow I think I could ride that freaking surfboard put some trucks in it use it as a sector nine long or that's how big that thing is but anyways enough of that let's go to the Jason McCat or a statue whatever you want to call it whoever was bitching about this not being a PF and calling it a fail just because of the preview preview pics can suck my balls. This piece is awesome. It's disgusting. The pose is sick. The uh, base is freaking just blah, nasty. The the uh, the extra head, mind you, it's not the exclusive. So every single Jason is gonna come with both heads, the mask and the unmasked. And uh, the exclusive is a uh, art print based on the uh, comic head or the statue, whatever. And um, which is obviously not a must. We still have not seen the print. So, uh, but anyways, this is an awesome, 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 awesome Jason. It looks fan-freaking-tastic. So, again, all those bitches that were calling it fell because it was a, a statue, everything was sculpted, can suck it. Can suck it. This is an amazing statue. Disgusting, beautiful, just freaking badass. 
I hope that Jason fans are pumped for this statue because it is awesome. Anyways, just awesome, just awesome. I'm, I'm in love with that statue, just badass. Um, yes, yeah, so that's really cool that the chain your head is for every single Ecto one of them. So you don't have to get the exclusive just to get the chain your head. The extra head looks really cool. I mean, it's not that uh, that dumbed down version we always get of the of Jason. It's it's just like a nasty, ugly ass mofo bitch ready to kick some ass. Ugh, get down! But uh, it is awesome. I'm impressed with this tattoo. It came out way better than I thought it was gonna come. And uh, the base is just again just nasty. You saw the picture. It is disgusting, man. It's just nasty. Awesome, Chai Joe. Awesome. Anyways, enough of that. Um, let's go to the uh, Conan Prize diorama, which is another awesome diorama. You got Conan, the sideshow version, if you will. And um, you got him, the exclusive, first of all, which is the picture I'm showing you right now, is the, uh, the, the sword. The sword is exclusive. It's a switch out hand, and uh, the normal comes with an axe. But um, anyways, it's, uh, it's awesome because you got Conan running around with this sexy ass woman in his shoulder looking super sexy and um, and he's just running like you know like she's not there she's you know he's he's a man freaking what do you call it it's the strongest bitch ever but uh anyways um the the conan sculpt is awesome all the stuff he has the the shield he has in his back the sword the uh the axe the the, the everything he has on the base looks incredibly awesome and she looks fantastic. Whoever sculpted that woman, I can't I remember. I should have checked before coming here. But I'm a douche. But uh, she looks fantastic. I mean, great. They covered the ass with his hand, which is just cut that hand off and just just round that ass. It looked really nice in the uh, prototype. But uh, but yeah yeah, it looks it looks like a great piece. Looks like a great piece for Conan collectors. Um, and um, it's just awesome. Can't say anything else just really looking really cool hopefully the production comes out like that because it is awesome anyways uh let's see what else what else um the 500 first clone trooper blah 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 was pre-ordered yesterday was it people was it i think it was people a while back doesn't matter but um yeah it not much to say awesome awesome clone trooper made by satchel and hot toys as you know that body inside was whatever blah 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 and it's a clone trooper and it's only $89.99 you don't have to spend one billion dollars to buy the medicum ones you see what I'm saying so yeah freaking awesome blue it comes with the with the with that rifle and that humongous I think well that humongous thing is a rifle I think both rifles whatever it comes with both guns that humongous bazooka shotgun thing and then the uh, the little rifle so uh, pretty cool Another addition to uh, to uh, to the clone troopers. I saw a bunch of clone troopers at the uh, sideshow offices. Um, hopefully, they will be real soon. But they're all looking awesome. They're looking very sexy. Oh, another one that I well, the one one that I saw that I can talk about is uh, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which is the one from the first movie. So you know you got clone trooper goodness all over the place, all over the place. Just awesome. Anyways, what else? What else? What else? Um, they previewed their Spider-Man uh, Legendary Scale Bust. I mean, like you really know that was coming. Looking cool, I guess. <laughs> and then the Blanket Bust was previewed too, which means it'll be on pre-order whenever it says down there, which I forgot. I'm guessing it's next uh, next uh, newsletter. So, pretty kick-ass. Um, I think they're going to be three colors, including the green one. I think Satch is going to have an exclusive... Well, Satch will have an exclusive version. Because it's, uh, it's part of their contract. So they're going to have one. But I think um, what's uh, Jerry's going to sell one on his website. Not sure yet. If that happens, I'll let you know. But uh, that's what's quite collecting. And uh, we still have not seen what the other exclusive is. I think he said the color, but I don't remember. But anyways, there's the blanket bust. Um, let's see. What else did I see outside that I can talk about? Uh, oh, that hammerhead figure that was previewed. Looking sick. Cry. Better than the clone troopers. I saw the clone troopers. Then I saw the figure. I'm like, wow. Ah, that hammerhead figure looks sexy. The uh, the Indiana Jones uh, uh, Temple of Doom premium format looking sexy. Too clean for my for my taste, but it's something that can you know you can customize 
easily or send it to somebody to customize it, make it look just pure awesome. But the, the sculpt is awesome, so looking great. And um, what else? I've got to meet Andy Burgles. If you don't know who Andy Burgles is, do some uh, research, bitches, because he sculpted the uh, my uh, my my used to be um, Hulk premium form, and he sculpted the ah. Uh, <sighs> What else? Man, I'm, I'm on blank today. But um, the pitch is here for before my... And uh, anyways, he is the man. He rocks. And he was sculpting something there, which I almost cried. Because meeting him and sculpting that, I'm like, wow. This could not have been perfect. <laughs> Dear. So uh, anyways, Sideshow Trip, needless to say, was pure awesomeness. And uh, But yeah, enough for Sideshow.